If these kids can play, that's the line being applied to the Boylan Titans, a team that relies heavily on some sophomores in key positions. Last week, those sophomores shined in a 68-14 win against Jefferson. Could they provide more of that same firepower tonight against Belvedere North? As always, the student section's rocking. The Blue Thunder's game plan is ground and pound. Quarterback Mason Weckler fakes the handoff and keeps it himself. It's good enough for a first down. When you got everyone thinking run, you take a shot, and that's exactly what they did. Weckler hooks up with Joseph Brown deep over the middle. Later in the second quarter, Weckler's forced to his right, tries to go back across the field here, but John Grant comes up with the interception for the Titans. He'll return this back and get Boylan some good field position. This is a low-scoring affair, so every point counts, including field goals. That is booted through by Aiden Montez. North led 6 to nothing at half and pulls out the road win at 20 to 6. Our Nick Tan 10 analyst from Mercy Health Top Performers and a former Nick 10 standout Tim Bailey joins us now to discuss this one. Tim was at the game and Tim, uh, you know, at all respect to Belvedere North. Everybody knows they've got a really good program there, but I think this final score maybe surprised uh, several people around the Nick 10 including myself. Not that I didn't think Belvedere North could win, but to win 20 to 6. What did you see tonight that that stood out that tilted the game in Belvedere North's favor? I, I, I saw tonight a Belvedere North uh, team that's for real. Um, they made a statement tonight. They come to compete this year, um, and I think they will. Um, played outstanding um, offensively. They did some things outstanding. They even passed tonight. Belvedere, if you know Belvedere North's offense, it's a run-dominant offense. But when they needed to pass, they capitalized. And, and that's why they probably came out victorious tonight because some of the things they did offensively so well. Um, you know, but a great game. Uh, tip my hat off to the coaches for getting those kids prepared for a big game as such as you saw tonight. Would you say this score tonight was more on Boylan's mistakes or would you say this is more credit to Belvedere North? Well, you got to tip your hat off again to the coaches at Belvedere North for getting the kids prepared for a big game. Um, you know, you go into Boylan Stadium, it's a hostile environment. Mm -hmm. um, it's a tough environment to play in. Um, but Belvedere North responded. I think the coaches did a phenomenal job getting, getting the guys ready. Um, and again, you know, Belvedere North with their offense, they're not going to wow you with anything. Um, you know, they're just really a really sound, fundamentally sound uh, team. And um, they got it done tonight. Uh, speaking of Belvedere North's offense, they have Mason Weckler in his first year as a starting quarterback this year, the son of a coach who used to coach at Belvedere and DeKalb. But what did you see from him tonight? What kind of promise does he have? What can he add? What dimensions does he add to that Belvedere North offense? He's a facilitator, number one. Okay. Um, you know, he was able to get um, the offense rolling. Um, you know, if, 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 if you go back and you watch the game and you'll see, you know, just, just continue to move the ball, move the ball, move the ball. And they did that really well. And I think sometimes, you know, when you're playing in a big game, it's, it's hard to really get a good start and, and gather that momentum and, and also to maintain that momentum. But, you know, throughout the entire game from, you know, first half to second half, uh, Belvedere North just maintained that momentum, and that's why they came out victorious. And on the flip side, for Boylan, their quarterback, Connor Dennis, very bright future ahead, made a few mistakes tonight. What are some areas you think he can focus on to improve for his future? Well, he's a young kid. He's a right. sophomore. So, right. you know, I'd, I'd personally like to see him just to be a little bit more relaxed in the mm -hmm. pocket. Um, and, and just understand, you know, you know you're, you're the leader now. And that you're the comes with reps. Absolutely. I think with, with reps um, in, in the weeks to come, I think we're going to be talking about this kid, um, you know, and, 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 you know, hopefully, you know, these kids go in and they watch film, you know, Sunday or Monday. Mm -hmm. um, he learns from his mistakes and he comes back out next week and we don't see those mistakes. So um, I think he'll do that. We all know Hananiga and Harlem are, are at another level, but uh, can, can Belvedere North or Boylan in the trenches compete, do you think, with a Harlem or a Hananiga? Can they be competitive in the trenches? Yeah, I think they can. Um, both Belvedere and um, um, Boylan have, Belvedere North, excuse me, Belvedere North and Boylan have great um, offensive line, defensive lines. Um, you know, again, it's, it's really early in the season, so it's, you know, you really can't, um, you know, put too much, um, you know, on the game, you know, games that happen in week one and week two. You know, hopefully everybody stays healthy. Um, but, you know, again, both of these teams here still have to play some really tough competition in the weeks to come. Belvedere North, 2-0 now. they got to be feeling pretty good there. Absolutely. Tim, thanks for joining us thanks once again. Thanks, you guys, again. for having me. Appreciate it. All right, Tim Bailey, folks, let's find out what